guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's cook with me video, we are going to be making crock pot white beans and ham. Here are the ingredients. First up, you need some great northern beans. The recipe calls for a one pound bag, but I could only find a two pound bag and I ended up using all two pounds of beans. Next up, you need some ham. This is the ham that I found at my grocery store. It'd be best if you had a leftover ham bone from a ham you recently cooked and with some meat still on it to throw in there, but I did not have one and neither did my store, so I went with this block of ham. You'll need an onion, and I like to add in some onion powder for more of an oniony kick. Of course, some salt and pepper. And the recipe calls for, I believe, six cups of water, but I decided to substitute some water for this chicken broth to give it some extra flavor. Okay, let's get started. First up, you're gonna open your bag of beans. You're gonna pour some out, and what you wanna do is sort through them and remove any pebbles or debris or anything that just doesn't belong in there. So make sure all your beans are good. Grab a colander, sort the beans, and put the good ones in the colander. And then once you have all of your beans sorted through, you are going to rinse them. Okay, go ahead and dump your beans in your crock pot. And now we're gonna get started on cutting up this ham. As you can see, this one was already pre-sliced. I just wanted to cut it to make it into bite-sized chunks. Okay, next you're gonna cut up your onion and then add that to your crock pot as well as all of your seasonings. All right, next up I added in my chicken broth. I just used up the rest of what was in this uh, carton here. I think it ended up being right at about two cups of chicken broth. And then I filled up the rest of the crock pot with water. Okay, now you're just gonna stir everything together really well. And then pop the top onto your crock pot. And set it on low to cook for about six to eight hours or until your beans are done. Now today you guys are getting a special treat. I'm going to also share with you how I like to make my cornbread. You need a cast iron skillet because that's just the best way I think to make cornbread. Add in some oil and some butter. You're gonna set your oven at 425 degrees and pop in your skillet to let the 
oven come to temperature and also your cast iron skillet to come to temperature. You want it to be warm and that butter to be nice and melted before you pour in your cornbread batter. All right, so this is what I like to use to make my cornbread is the Martha White Buttermilk Cornmeal Mix and you're gonna need two cups of that. And then some oil. I like to use a mayonnaise in my cornbread. That might seem a little bit odd to some of you, but I just think it gives it a really good and unique flavor. You're also gonna to need to put in a couple of eggs. And you're gonna mix everything together with some milk. Once your oven reaches the 425 degrees, you're gonna take out your cast iron skillet. And I like to roll that butter and oil around so it also coats the side of my skillet. And then you're gonna pour in your cornbread batter. You're gonna see and hear it sizzling and that's what you want. That sizzle with that butter and oil there is going to make a fantastic crust on your cornbread. It's buttery and so, so good. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't she a beauty? Yum. Okay, and now once your beans are done and they're nice and soft, it's time to dig in. I like to use a bowl and get you a good old scoop of those beans and ham. And then you're gonna cut a nice sized triangle of cornbread. And I just put mine right on in my bowl. Just kind of stick the cornbread down in there. Doesn't that look so good, guys? This is the epitome of good Southern comfort food. Push that cornbread down in there, let it soak up the juices from the beans and ham and talk about some good eating right here. And you know me, I've always got to try my food through any of my cooking videos. And I was kind of laughing because my husband was sitting on the other side of the camera, cracking jokes and kind of making fun of me, but it's all good. I was eating some good food that's all I really care about. <laughs> so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you try the this recipe. It seems like most of you guys really like these cook with me videos. This recipe is wonderful. I will, of course, have the recipe linked below. And if you want, I can put my cornbread recipe there as well. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.